بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما so the next step we'll we'll try to see how to upload the sd1 images to evng now again the prerequisite here as uh, we assume that evng is already running in your vm and also if possible go through with the pro license uh, basically I, I, i tried with as i said i tried with community edition but but with pro license the sd1 labs works fine because the images it, it will upload with the same name but uh, mostly it may not get detected with the community edition that's what i have seen so if it works with your community edition that's fine or else you need to go with the pro license so make sure that you do have these things and the next thing you already have the images the vitella images which are required to upload into your uh, into your evng now here i'm going to show you some of the sample files which are required for you now in our case we will be uploading this four files now there will be four files here we bond we edge uh, we manage and we smart these are the four files which we need to upload to the evng now to upload this uh, we need to upload this to evng so make sure that these files are downloaded and we have them in your local drive in your computer so what we'll be doing is we'll be uploading these images like in this case i'll be uploading these four images right now and these four images need to be updated to evng now in order to do that we will be using win scp win scp or filezilla there are specific softwares uh, the file fpg upload uh, softwares you can use to do that job so make sure that your evng is running so my evng is running here so if we just go back to my vmware and here you can see my evng is running on 192.168.15.31 so i'm going to connect that host 192.168.15.31 as per my address so i'm going to use the root username and the password the whatever the username and the password you have set to the command line the same username and the password you have to do so when you purchase a license at that time they will prompt when you install for the first time it will prompt you to change these things you can change or you can use the defaults so click on login so once you provide the correct username and the password then you will see two windows here now one of the window here which will indicate now this uh, window indicates my local drive here the left side one so this indicates your local drive the local computer and the right side window indicates your evng evng drive so we need to upload these images so we need to locate these images in my computer and wherever they are located we need to just go to that particular drive and from there we need to select the images okay so we need to select the specific images and we need to copy them from here so we need to copy copy these images here so the exact images what i am using and what i you have to use probably those images are not here i'll show you the screenshot on on my local drive so this is this is the exact images what we'll be using so in my case let's say in my case i'll be using this vbon uh, this vbon v smart these four images now we need to make sure that we copy these images from here to here now how to copy the copy is something you you do just like normal uh, you need to just select this file and you have to say upload okay so i don't have that in my local drive so i'm not uploading the exact images but when you are doing this you have to make sure that you upload the exact images now if you check the workbook these are the four specific images i'll be using so we need to make sure that we copy these folders exactly now depending upon what a type of image we are using so here as i assume i'll be using these images uh, if you want you can go ahead and check the check the website evng website from where you can also find the documentation or steps how to do this process now here you can see these are the specific images you require here there is vbon 19.2 Now, now we need to make sure that this folder name should be the exact name, and inside that, this is the image name. What might be present? 
Okay, so if you're using uh, 20 dot versions, then the folder name should change to 20 dot 3 dot 2. Like in my case, the images what I'm using is 20 dot 3 dot 1. So we have to upload these four images. So I have to upload these four images. Uh, exact. You can copy now. Now, now the way you do is uh, it's simple. Like let's say if I say win SCB. So I do have a win SCP here. Now, what I'll do is I'll try to quickly set up. Now, in my case, I'm, I'm just doing this in my laptop because already on my server, which is using 15.31, already it is pre-configured, but here I'm going to show you. Uh, we need to make sure that we open up the win SCP. Uh, ENG is running. And the next step, we, we need to open up the win SCP. And what is IP address 192 192.168.15.38. That's an IP of my E. So connect with a with a with a CLI password. And once you quickly connect, now we need to locate the images here in my drive. Like it's it's here. Cryptella, this is a folder. And on the right side, we need to exactly copy these four folders. You can see this one, two, three, four. Now these four folders names in my scenario, it is exactly the same name, but make sure that the folder name is as something like this, the reborn hyphen 20.3.1, whatever the version it is. So if you open up this file, it will be either this name or whatever the name, okay? That doesn't really make any difference. So what we have to do is we need to select these things and we have to copy this to the folder. Now here, we need to go to the OPT. Now, this is my root. And here, there is an option of OPT. And then there is an option of unit lab. And then inside that, we need to get into the add-ons. And then there is a chemo option. So make sure that you are copying these files in this exact path inside, inside your e, inside your event. So we need to copy these four files from here. We are going to copy them to the to the demo. Now, whatever the images you see here, those images are already pre-installed in my EVNG. And if you want these particular four images to work, let's say one, two, three, four, uh, you can rename the files. So make sure that the naming is important. Now, what I'm doing is I'm going to upload. And once you click on upload, then it will show you this option. Then click OK. So it will start uploading the files. You can click on this button to turn this in the background. Now, it will take some time because once you upload the images, once this process gets finished, you will see those files will be listed on the right side. Now, this is the option you have to do. Uh, this is kind of simple option. If you're using the images, what, uh, what you can see is similar ones, then you don't need to do much. 